Kakamede Senator Boni Halwale has presented a case before the UDA committee asking for removal of Glenfas Malala as the UDA Secretary General. The same day, Didymus Barada, community member of parliament, called a presser in Bungoma, insinuating that Malala is working for UDA detractors. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bold analysis. This is the soundbite of Baraza. From that video, of course he's making some fabrications that he has evidence. I still don't understand what would be Rai Lodinga's business with UDA to use Malala. Malala who sits in cabinet and has all the state machineries around him. I don't even know how that is viable. But there is that which, um, that which Halwale is saying and that according to me is blowing Ruto's cover. I want to read for you um, Halwale's, Halwale's complaint. Um, he's saying, Halwale lamented that the respondent, Malala, had hired regional and county managers to conduct the forthcoming grassroots elections, which was scheduled to take place on 9th September. And uh, he's saying, the, the respondent overstepped his mandate and usurped the roles and mandate of National Elections Board. And uh, this is what he's saying. Um, this is what he's saying. He accused him of usurping the powers and functions of Elections Board, the organ within the party that is mandated to deal with the matters of internal party affairs. And he's saying that he made the decision was made without any evidence of consultation with the key party organs such as the National Ele Executive Committee and the National Elections Board. What Halwala is saying is that Malala picked those county and uh, county managers without the input of the National Executive Committee, where President sits. And they want to believe Hanoli do not sit in that committee. But I would want to ask, just want to ponder around it. Do you think Malala can make appointment without the input of William Ruto? No way. So what, um, what Halwale is saying here is that there are some quarters within UDA, and this is a team that Halwale is representing, that believe that Malala could have made those decisions without the input of the party organs. And I will not be shocked to realize that those who even pushed uh, Halwale to go and lodge that complaint were some members of that party organ. But let's look at some few pointers. Recently, when um, there was complaints about some cabinet secretaries, Kalwale joined Rigedi Gashagwa in castigating the Moses Couriers for talking to Kenyans rudely during that time. Boni Kalwale also do not support Malala as being the UDA SJ. And this is a position that quite a number of UDA leaders have, that he is a Johnny Camlet. And they also believe that if Malala wants to vie to seek the material seat in Kakamega, then that UDA position is giving him some advantage, some edge against Boni Halwale. So Boni has never accepted, rather has never taken positively the presence of uh, uh, Malala as UDA SG. And recently, Malala was in the limelight asking the other parties to shelve those parties so that they can join UDA. And that is why I believe that something 
is not right here. What is the contention? Because from what I am seeing, there seems to be a problem. And I want to blow what exactly are the powers behind this move. Kindly subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell and like our videos. I'm also reaching out to you that we have, we can advertise that product and service you have, you're heading to Christmas. And now we have very good audience. If you realize our, our, our traffic has increased. So we have good traffic. You can DM, contact us there uh, through the number there. Then we can have a sidebar uh, as families of the board as we make these podcasts. We also get give you visibility uh, in that which you are doing, whether you can even advertise your job here. If you have a service, you can advertise with us here. Now, is it true that Malala and Ruto are micromanaging the party? This is what is happening. Ruto clearly could be planning to script those to script those UDA party primaries. And scripting the party primaries is just by ensuring that those because remember this is a very critical, you know, the grassroots, the backbone of the party is the grassroots. So there is, according to me, some mistrust or disquiet. And what is happening is that William Ruto would want to ensure that that party, only his cronies and people who subscribe his ideals, get to hold the party at the grassroots level. Because half has been done, according to what Malala is saying, is that half of county managers have been appointed. But um, um, Balkhalwala is saying, despite of that appointment, there was no consultation. There is no evidence of any consultation with the responsible party organs. So that is the voice of what Malala is saying. And Ruto plans to do this. To achieve this objective, you want to clearly work with Malala to kick out regarding a Shagwa from that party. And it's not that removing him from UDA party, but to remove his grip from the UDA party. Because what Ruto also knows is that his succession politics wants to revolve around the party. And when it is given to the likes of Rigadi Geshagwa to be in charge, they will actually be in a position to use from the party primaries to plant people and politicians and leaders that will actually dance to their tune. So it is very clear that this uh, petition that has been presented by Boni Khalwale has deeper, deeper force. It's not just coming from Khalwale. Because you may, was, you may just want to know. Malwale is chief web. Khalwale is chief web. Khalwale has access to the president. Khalwale will still get UDA ticket if he needs to. You know. But I think with now Malala as the secretary general, then Malala holds the UDA party ticket. Maybe Malala will have to resign and pick the UDA party ticket as, as the S, for the SG to represent the party. But then, where would that put Halwale? Now, um, Malala clearly is an agent of chaos. And if someone planted him in UDA party to bring unity and to solidify the party, then that person got it wrong. I think he seems to be having a lot of baggage. It is not just, this is not just the first time he's going through this. Even at one point, Gladys Bosch was saying that since Malala took over the party, the party has been experiencing chaos when doing grassroots mobilization. Secondly, I've only been seeing Malala conducting uh, grassroots mobilization in the Western, but I'm not seeing him going to Central and Rift Valley. And there was also been some parts 
of Mombasa. But um, rulers are fakes in Bungoma, by the way. Because Baraza wants to be governor, and UDA seems to be fronting um, Wangamati, who wants to go through UDA, and Baraza is decamping to Fort Kenya. Because I think for all the, 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 all the governors of Bungoma has been from Fort Kenya. So what Baraza did, Baraza also decamped, did as Baraza decamped from UDA to join Fort Kenya. So that you will use the Fort Kenya ticket to buy for governor. Politics is local. But then this will be interesting. I want you to tell me, what do you think, uh, who is this person that wants Malala out?